We have the Pentagon announcing that the U.S. military is now shifting toward a global exercise program so that they can prepare to deter a more assertive Russia as well as countering other complex threats. And you see that China is right up there in the mix as well. We've talked about them. And right now they're saying that this is going to be going full scale globally where everyone can operate off the same sheet of music, so to speak, not broken down into different divisions and sectors. They're saying that they're looking to cross all these domains, pretty much land, sea, air, space, and the cybersphere. So they're rehearsing all these different possibilities. And they're also citing that Russia is starting to hold these massive drills with other troops from other countries, and they're not being transparent. Now, I want to remind folks that when Russia was flying over our country, the Open Skies, I think it's Open Skies Treaty, they're only supposed to do certain things. They can't take certain equipment. They can't fly in certain areas. But when they did this here recently, the last time, they did something that ticked the United States off big time. They never said what it was. They wouldn't even hint at what they did. But they did something. They made that clear. They did something that violated that treaty while they were flying over our country. So did they, did they drop something? Did they fly over an airspace or, or an installation somewhere where they should have been? They did something. They did something that ticked off the Pentagon. Now, they're going to conduct this massive drill with Belarus with 100,000 troops, and apparently they're saying that this came out of nowhere and that they're not being transparent enough. So what they're planning to do is to go global with their drills, and they want to roll this out full force by 2020. So just an update here on what the Pentagon's saying in terms of them moving globally. And what they're planning to do. I will talk about this more tonight. Dabu 777. Underground World News Live. 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll be discussing this. And updates to all the other stories. That have been popping off here recently. I'll leave a link for this. And I hope to see you guys there. Peace.